now so so we saw that that if there is a nucleus and if it is surrounded by the electrons okay electrons which tend to move in a shell which tend to move in a shell then a thing called the shielding effect comes into picture right the shielding effect comes into picture okay fine now by the very nature of the orbitals that you saw okay the shielding effect due to due to an s electron right s electron that means the electrons moving in the s orbital okay or or shielding effect due to due to electrons in the s orbital is greater than is greater than than the electrons in the p orbital okay why because we have seen that the s has has the tendency for s electrons the tendency the the density is is more at the center and as i go out it starts it starts going down so so its tendency to remain near the nucleus is more so it shields this better the outer ones better okay than in p orbital you, and, and in p we saw that that is something like that okay its its tendency to stay at the center around the nucleus is the least okay so so the shielding due to the p orbital is less than that of the s orbital and this is greater than that in the d orbital which is greater than the shielding effect due to electrons in the f orbital okay get that fine Do we get that? Fine. Now we come to say the 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 second shell. Okay, the second shell. So for the second shell. what should happen what should happen for the second shell now you have in in the second shell what are the values of l that are permissible for the second shell n is equal to 2 and what is the value of l that is possible shashwat Zero and one. one. What does okay? This is this is the sub shell, correct? Now, what does this stand for? What what kind of sub shell is that? For L equal to zero, this sub shell is also called called the S sub shell, right? and this is called the p subshell okay now now what happens is the s uh, suppose i am talking about the 2s subshell electrons right 2s i am talking about the 2s orbital right i am i'm talking about 2s orbital okay this is the subshell 2s and it has got only one orientation m is equal to 0 so 200 corresponds to 2s orbital 
right so if i am talking about this what happens this tends to be very tightly bound okay tightly bound to the nucleus tightly bound to the nucleus because its tendency to 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 be at the center of the nucleus is more if it is more tightly bound then it is more stable we have we have done that in the earlier video if something is more tightly bound it is more stable and there is a, there is a relationship between the stability and the energy and what is that so so stability higher the stability lesser the energy so higher the stability i'm i'm repeating that it implies lesser is the energy okay so so it implies that it's more stable it means it has got less energy and here the 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 i i'm talking about this will go from minus 1 this is the value of m that it can take minus 1 0 1 this is 2 px this is 2 py this is 2 p z right three orbitals yes. now now they are not so tightly bound not so tightly bound to the nucleus it implies they are less stable it means at least it has got higher energy than than exactly than 2s orbital is that okay and same with with say the the d orbitals right so 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 d orbitals if if i go to go to n equal to 3 you'll also have the d orbitals right so so d orbitals they are again not so tightly bound not so tightly bound as 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 p orbital electron it implies that it is less stable it implies that it has again higher energy higher energy than than the than the p orbital than the p orbital of the same shell p orbital of the p orbital of the same shell right and and what happens to the f orbital then by by, by extending the same logic f orbital is again not so tightly bound as as the as the d orbital and it implies that it is less stable and again it implies that it implies that higher energy it has higher energy than than the d than the than the d orbital of the same of, of of the same shell right so so let us talk about an orb, uh, an orbital say n is equal to 4 n is equal to 4 has got l is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 and and then it has got m which is minus 1 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 this is minus 3 minus 3 next minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 7 here now what does it mean which has the least energy this is 4s right i am not going into the orbital i am just i am just restricting myself to the shells this is this is this is this is 
okay this is say this is s so so this is 4s this is p this is 4p this is d so this is 4d and this is f so this is 4f right 4s 4p 4d 4f so so which has got more energy which has the least energy of 4s is is the least so it is less than 4p which is less than 4d which is less than 4f okay do we get that so so even within the same shell there is an energy difference that means it not only for a given shell it not only depends on this it also depends on on l okay and as l is going higher as is, as l is going higher the energy is increasing no the energy is increasing so we say that the energy not only depends on the the, the, the therefore the energy not only depends on n energy not only depends on n it also depends on n plus l right so how, how otherwise how would you distinguish what what is the n plus l for this you see n plus l for 4s is 4 plus 0 4 what is the n plus plus l for 4p it is 5 what is n plus l for this 6 and what is the n plus l for this 7 and the energy is increasing so I can very well say that that the energy not only depends on n n n it also depends on n plus l both of them contribute to the energy level and hence now you try to go back and recall we have been saying that n is n when we were saying that n was the principal quantum number on which the energy depends mostly right we had emphasized that mostly it depends on n but then we had said that not only n later we see that it depends on l as well and actually it depends on n plus l so so this is what we meant to say this is the this is the actual justification for why it will depend on n plus l we get that we get that so if energy depends on n plus l okay then then now we we come to the conclusion that that now the energy not only depends on it also depends on n plus l now what if there is a tie okay in case the n plus l values of two subshells is the same then the one with the then the one with the lower value of n will have a lower energy will have a lower energy. Do we get that? Hmm? If there are two different orbitals whose n plus l values are the same, then 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 the one with the smaller amount of of n will will have the smaller energy, lesser energy. So so if you remember, there was a degeneracy. We had drawn 
in in hydrogen atom in in a mono electric electronic thing we had drawn the energy levels to be the same if if you remember that yes. do we do we remember that so it had been something like that so so we said that 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 we do not need the this thing say say if if this is the energy level then then this is 1s right and, and then we had 2s okay we had we had uh, this and this so 2s and 2p were at the same level this is the, this is the energy right and then we have 3s 3p 3d so 3s 3p 3d and then we have and went like that this is degeneracy this is called this this the the orbitals are degenerate 4p 4d 4f but now this is slated to change in the in in a, this this is for for hydrogen hydrogen or or hydrogen like hydrogen like species right some are ions some are atoms so i call it species now for a multi electron for a multi electron atom for a multi electron <coughs> atom yes and, and and don't get confused okay so 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 the so the theory that we developed right now that was for for a multi electron atom right so so you you can say that for a multi electron atom this holds otherwise for mono electronic it's only n which decides for for uh, for the mono electronic species for the mono electronic species you can also call it call it a species it it could be it could be i and i n also that is that is multi electron then to this will hold so for a multi electron electron species right for the mono electronic species the energy depends only on only on n higher n implies higher energy the energy depends only on n and not on n plus l and not on n plus l right not on n plus l now let's try to draw this now let's try to draw the energy diagram for a multi electron atom okay let us say this something like that okay now 1s right now now i have to be doing this so in n is equal to 1 i have i have l is equal to 0 that leads to the orbital being m as 0 so the orbital is orbital is 1s right n is equal to 2 this is 0 and 1 you have 0 and and obviously Uh, minus one zero one. Okay, you have three two p orbitals. Huh? The subshell is two p, right? Within them, there is no energy change. So I'll be dealing not with two p x, two p y, and two p z differently. They'll be the same, right? So so two p. So so now let us start calculating the n plus l values, right? So n plus l value here is one. Here it is two. Here it is three. We come to three. There we have zero, one, two. So, so what happens? 
this is 0, this is minus 1, 0, 1. Here it is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Right? So, so, so this is here n plus l is 3, and here n plus l, l is 4, and here, here the n plus l is, l is 5. Is that okay? Is that okay? Now, now, now let, let's go ahead a bit. So I put this as this 0, 1, 2, 3, and I'm not going into the values of m because I'm, I'm not much bothered as, as long as the energies are concerned. Okay, that we have been doing earlier. So, so what I am bothered with is is for this four and, and n plus l is five and six and seven, right? Right? And and then I move ahead. Then I move ahead and, and maybe write it here, right? Should I write it here? So n is equal to 5, l is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. What are the values of n plus l? I'm, I'm not even making a column for m. The values are 5, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9. n is equal to 6, the values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? Now let us try to try to arrange them, right? Let us try to arrange them. So 1s is obviously the least, right? So 1s lies somewhere here, the least, smallest, right? 1s. Above that, so, so this is done. Above that we have, we have, so, so 2s comes here, right? So this is 2s. Now 2p, which was lying just parallel to this, is now no, no longer there. It has to have some higher energy. So I'm writing 2p slightly up, right? This is not a, not a true reflection of the difference in the energy levels, okay? But, but it's higher energy, so I'm showing it above 2s, right? Understand? 2s. So, so, so 2s is gone, 2p is gone. Now, now there was a tie here, see? Between 3s and 2p, there was a tie. Then we said whenever there is a tie between n plus l, then the one having the lower n, which is the lower n? This will be lower. So, so thankfully, this is, this is lower. So 3s, 3s will be having a higher energy. So it will be somewhere here. Right? 3s will be somewhere here. How about 3p? Let us see how many ties. There is a 4 here and there is a 4 here. Okay? There is a tie. So we go back to the value of n. The value of n here is 3. Here there is 4. So, so, so 3p is 3p is lower. Right? So 3p is, is higher is, is, is above above 3s, because n plus l for this was 3, above that, so, so this is 3p, and above that, straight above that is 4s, right, so above that is 4s, 4s, correct, this is, this is 3s, this is 3p, this is 3d, so you see, though we are in the third orbital, we are in the third shell, and there was P there, there, there was a D there. In the third, we have the availability of 3D, but still the energy of 4S is lower than that. You see that? Do we see that? So 4S comes here, and, and we are done with, with, with the 4s. Now we come to 5s. Now there is a 5 here, there is a 5 here, there is also a 5 here. Now in that, that this has lower n, this higher and this higher, right? So now they will be arranged in the order order of that. So so I am, I am into, so, so after 4s, 
you have you have 3d right so, so this this line is s this line is p i make another another column for d so so you have 3d here is that okay 3d is done then i have what is this this is this is 4s this is 4p this is 4d so then it goes to 4p so 4p is higher right 4p is higher so so we are done with 4p yes we are done with 4p then it goes to 2 2 5 5 this is s right this is 5s so then it goes to 5 s right and, and then then the thing is there is a 6 here and and there is a 6 here and there is a 6 here this has the least n so so the 6 so so and and where do we have that 6 it is 4d correct sp this is 4d i'm sorry and and this is 4 n do we see that this is 4 n so so it goes to 4d so 4d is here right 4d is done then it is then it is 5p then it is 5p this is also done this is also done now i come to 7 there is a 7 here there is a 7 here there is a 7 here no and, and, and then then there is a 6s is, isn't it yes. then there is a 6s and then I come to 7, so so I come to 7f, f, f is here, 7f, and then it goes to, to 7d, no, 0, 1, 2, no, s, p, d, 5 plus 2 is 7, so, so that is, that is 5d, I'm sorry, so then it is, it is 5d. 5d and then it is 6p then it is 6p and if there was a 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 if there was a 7 then 7 plus 0 7 so so then it goes to 7 then the energy of 7s is higher so you see how by using n plus l rule we have been able to grade the orbital in terms of their increasing energy do we see that do we see that so why 7f here 7f i have written 7f where, where, where? On the ground. This is 4F, I'm sorry. This is 4F, rightly point, pointed out. This is a 4F. This is a 4F, because because we were going for 7s, no? So 4 plus 3, yeah, 4F, this 7, 1. So it's 4F, I'm extremely sorry. I, I maybe saw this 7 and wrote 7F. Thanks a lot for pointing out. So, so it is 7, 7F, seven right? 4F, 5D, 6P, 7S. Fine. Now, the next we'll go to the filling up of these orbitals. Okay. Now, now just try to understand. I'd like my atom to be the most stable. So, how will I try to fill the electrons? So, I'd like to, if I like it to be more stable, then I'd like it to have the least energy. So how will I start filling up the electrons? I'd first of all fill in the electron. Okay, I'll first of all try to fill in the electron to, to the least energetic. So, so my electron should first go there. And since it can hold two electrons, it can it can have two electrons. Correct? And after that, where should I go? 
to the next available higher energy level because now s orbital has has the capacity every orbital can only accommodate only accommodate only accommodate two right we are right now talking about subshells but one s will accommodate only only two because it has got only one orbital right so so two and and here then we'll go to 2s and fill there and then we'll go to 2p and fill all the six there it has three orbitals 2px 2py 2pz they are at the same energy level okay because because there is nothing like an n plus l plus m rule get that yes it only depends on l so each subshell has the same same energy correct so what happens is is the 6 go there then 2 must go there then the 6 must go there is it not is it not yes sir so so this is what we call the filling up of the orbitals okay the 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 filling up of the orbitals okay so 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 let me name that okay once once you know the energy thing then how do i fill up the orbital filling up of the orbital get that now there is a specific name to it called off bow principle is called n it's called an off bow principle and 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 it seems as if there was some mr off bow okay but it is not the case it is it's a german word it's a it's a german word which means building up building up so what are we trying to do we are trying to say how do i build up my atom okay i have the nucleus how do i put the electrons into it right how do i put the electrons into it so so to keep the atom the most stable the most stable okay <coughs> its energy should be the least its energy should be the least hence the electrons must be so arranged in their subshells that they have the minimum energy for a given number of electrons they have the minimum energy for the given number of electrons get that for a given number of electrons the energy should be a minimum that, that is that is pretty common sensical right we have been discussing that stability is inversely proportional to the energy so if i want the most stable of the atoms i'd like my energy to be the least okay 
and it is only this common sensical underst understood principle that the of bow principle of bow principle states right so 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 I, i'd like you to understand that there's there's nothing unique or nothing uh, i'll not say not great to it there, there's nothing something that confounds you right it's not at all confusing when you when you look at the of bow principle so of bow principle says says that in the ground state of the atoms in the ground state of the atoms in the ground state of the atoms the orbitals are filled in order of their increasing energies the orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy okay now now i have my energy diagram out here okay so i should say that first of all so so how are the filled how are the filled 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s 3p then 4s 4s then 3d 3d then 4p 5s then what 4d 6p 6s 4d 5 4d 5p 6s yes then 4f 4f 5d 6p 7s 7s 4f 5d 5 5d yeah correct and and 6 6p then 7s 5d 6p 7s and so on right 7s now how am i supposed to remember it it is absolutely confounding is it not how do i remember it how can anyone remember it okay but somehow you you find that there is there is a method to it okay there is a method to it so so what happens is if i write if i write if i write say 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 let me let me do that okay so so if i say draw a circle here okay and say say another one here and another one here right and some here and here and here and here okay can i can i shift this no not able to shift this not even able to undo it that's fantastic so so let's see
right? Okay. Okay, and and Say if it is something like that. Okay, let me just, just copy this. Okay, let me just copy it and start pasting it. So, so there's another one there. And another one just beside that. Okay. And another one here. And there. Sure. The third year. Okay, and the fourth year. Hold on. And and let me now paste it something like that so this and this and this you'll wonder what what this this all is for but but there's an interesting thing that you'll suddenly notice if I write one s here and, and say 2s and 2p here and a 3s and a 3p and a 3d here and a 4s and a 4p and a 4d and a 4f here and a 5s and a 5p and a 5d and a 5f and a 6s and a 6p, 
60 and the 6F and the 7S and the 7P and the 7D and the 7F should then then it is kind of this it looks something like like this that that this goes first right and followed by that it is this and, and so so one is gone that this arrow you follow this arrow maybe then you kind of connect it to that and you follow this arrow and then you kind of connect it to that and follow that arrow and then you connect it to so so from 2p it has come to 3s 2p 3s right then if i draw this arrow that 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 passes to 3p and 4s this, this again is a straight line right so it's 3p 4s right and then 3d 4p 5s 3d 4p 5s right so so it is like 3d 4p 5s correct and then 4d 5p 6s then then 4d 5p 6s and, and then 5f 5d 6p 6s right 5f 5f 6g 5f no it's 4f i'm sorry i was at 4f right so 4f then 5d right so so the 5d and then 6 p and 7 s right 6 p 7 s so 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 let's try to do that so is, is, is it the same okay 4 f 5 d 6 p 7 s 4 f 5 d 6 p 7 s is not is it not so And it keeps on going like that, 5F. And, and, and the, the beautiful part is we have still not hit the G shell. G orbital, we, we, G sub shell is still not hit, right? And, and, and it will not be for quite some time till we kind of uh, go above a certain atomic number. So you can very well say that this acts as, as a mnemonic for you to just remember how the configuration goes in right to how the configuration is there so so you just kind of connect those lines you just kind of connect those lines. so just keep on connecting these and 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 even even if, if you do not do this you should understand when i reach the end of this arrow i have to go up right to the next that's all fine if, if you do that maybe maybe if just, just just for completeness sake I, I'll, I'll make this okay so so it, it's something like that then this somehow and and very kind of symmetrically and and very beautifully summarizes the way you should go on filling your orbitals one after another right okay but but you should understand this thing this this diagram is not the off bow principle right this diagram is not the off-bow principle, right? Uh, it is. It is the. It is actually based on on what happened here. It is based on the arrangement from the from the least to the highest value of energy. That's what it is. Okay, and that is pretty understandable. This is only a way of arranging it in such a manner that we do not have to kind of. Mm -hmm. kind of kind of look at it that way right
and, and if you see the motivation for this must have come from here it kind of goes 1s 2s then 2p 3s right it goes like that and then 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 3p you see 3p 4s and then 3d 4p 5s and 4d 6p this and 4f it goes like that and that's why that okay it is just an inverted version of this if you if you if you if you if you, if you keep this hinged and and, and flap this down it will become this okay so but but still I, i appreciate someone who did this intelligent job of of kind of making it extremely systematic right and and, and that's what the off bow principle is fine